Welcome parents to Back to School Night. My name is Mrs. Maynard and I teach sixth grade math, seventh grade math, pre-algebra, history eight, and in the high school I teach introduction to psychology from a Christian perspective. I have been here for um, 15 years. This is the beginning of my 16th year here at PVCA. I have two boys who graduated from PVCA. My son Stephen graduated in 2019 and my son Michael graduated with the class of 2020. I'm very happy to be back in school and actually getting to work with the kids and I'm just looking forward to a great year with all of your young people this year. So thank you for letting me work with them. In History 8, we're going to be studying at first the fall of Rome and that was actually from the last year but we didn't get a chance to cover it because of the quarantine we didn't get as far as we'd like so to make a seamless transition between what we were studying last year and what we're studying this year we're picking up with the fall of Rome so they'll get to learn all about that why the Western Roman Empire fell and then how that carries us into the next thing we'll be studying which was is medieval Europe and then after we study medieval Europe and everything about feudalism and then the rise of nations and things like that uh, we'll go into the Renaissance, which is the time period where there was a rebirth and in interest in learning and the arts. And during that period, um, when we're studying the Renaissance, they get to um, kind of see how what they've studied previously about ancient Rome and ancient Greece comes back into play because during the Renaissance, they really um, went back and really had a, an appreciation for those classical time periods that came before the medieval time period. And then after the Renaissance time period, we end our year by studying the Protestant Reformation. And I'm really happy that the book that we have for eighth grade history is from Bob Jones University Press because it's a history book from the Christian perspective. And so they really get to see how um, Christianity and the Bible really do totally intermingle with um, secular history. And as they move through this year. Most of their homeworks will be writing three sentence summaries of notes from our daily um, class discussions and that is a way to keep them fresh on the content that we're discussing each day and it also allows me to see if they're understanding what we've been talking about in class. So they may have other homeworks as well but most of their homework most of the time will be those three sentence summaries of the discussions. And then our grading system for History 8 is um, tests are 30% and quizzes are worth 40%. Um, homeworks are worth 20% and preparation for class, just showing up with your, your, your notes, your book and something to write with and your binder, that's 10%. And my rationale for having quizzes be worth more than tests in a, any given grade period is because we have more quizzes per marking period than we do tests and just so that if I put even more emphasis on the tests, if they had one bad day and it happened to be a test day, then I don't want a, a, as giant a chunk of their grade to have to suffer because of it. So that's why um, we only have maybe like two or three test grades a, a term, but we have maybe four, five, six, and on from there as far as quiz grades. So that's why we made quizzes a little bit, worth a little bit more in my class. and. For my students, they're allowed to make quiz corrections for up to half of their points back. So that also um, allows the quiz to be kind of a learning tool as well. Uh, but that's only for quizzes, not for tests. When we have the test, that's usually on like a whole chapter or a whole section um, that's a little bit larger. And so sometimes the grade just has to be what it is. But for quizzes, I like to try to use those as learning tools as well. And it seems to work out well in past years that students have really hopefully gotten a lot out of it and be able to learn from their mistakes. And then in eighth grade uh, for their classes, they have um, either a midterm or a final because they're starting to gear up and get ready to be in high school where they would have a midterm and a final for each class. So in history eight, they have a midterm exam like halfway through the year, but they don't have a final exam because we're just starting to get them into the practice of having to take exams. And so that's history eight. Thank you very much for watching.